गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट इंसर्टिंग टेबल एंड टेबल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट टेबल ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट टेबल यस व्हाट इज द टेबल व्हाई वी आर यूजिंग टेबल Yes. Means tables are in the tabular structures. Okay, very good. And why we are using? We are using putting the data inside the table according to the properties. Okay. Yes. We are putting informations inside the table according to the properties. suppose uh, we are creating marksheet table we are creating marksheet tables so in marksheet tables what are there in marksheet table what is there what is there okay it is the heading parts okay but in tabular form first many subjects are uh, subjects name are there english maths science sst computer or other things yes and yes this is the uh, this is the subject names okay and second points pt1 pt2 uh, sa1 first terminal examination say pt3 pt4 and final okay then we will put marks according to the according to the tables according to the information okay yes yes so this is the table means table is a table of forms it represent the many data many information in tabular forms according to the properties we will arrange data we will put information inside the table so a lot of advantage what is the advantages of table uh, advantages of tables so a lot of advantages so first advantage is information is easier to read and quicker to evaluate okay if you want to right information then easily we will write and find information then easily we will find in tabular form yes yes so second point make comparative analysis of data so if we will create a tabular form suppose in our schools in our schools we will create Uh, result in tabular form then easily we will compare between two persons two students who is greater uh, marks found in particular subject yes yes or not yes next point present information or data in a comprehensive matters comprehensive manner means if you want to put any in good morning okay so then we will put easily okay next points in tabular forms we will create heading we will create um, captions also so all these things are here given so caption forms heading form sail rose all these are the given so dear students if anyone say how to create a table in html if anyone say how to be create a table in html so first if you want to create any table in html then we will use table tag which types of tags we will use yes why we are using table tag yes to be create a table to be form a table okay any problem 
okay so inside the table a lot of things are there first table row is there so if you want to create table row then we will use tr tag for creating the table row understood any problem second point table data if you want to um, put table data then we will use td tag so td tag is used for creating the table data it is used for create data sales okay td td tag is used for create the data cell suppose we are if you want to create a, any information suppose in first column first column all of you know about cell means intersection of rows and column then we will create then it is called cell okay so in a cell yes in a cell we will put the informations so td tag is used for create the data cells understood yeah uh, okay tr for table row okay what table tag not only table first we will write table okay come in first come in one example share given look here okay look here listen if you want to create any table okay then how to we create so html is written here head is written here inside the head we will write the table so here written using tables okay any problem here table close here next head close here and it is the body parts okay it is the body parts inside the body parts if you want to create table then we will write table okay okay dear students so first we will write table and here we will close the table any problem okay so inside table a lot of things we will need inside table a lot of things we will need what we will need listen first table row will need yes yes inside the table yeah yes boliye hello yes boliye what problem what problem hello okay look here so inside table first we will write here tr tr for table row okay okay dear students yes so table row inside the table row inside the first row we will write here table head means first heading is here name so look here name is here next designation here cell is here okay then close the tr tags again new tr so t in next tr we will write ragni pgt and 50000 then here all these things appear in next row yes same way according to the usage we will write we will create table row okay any problem dear students
all of you understood okay next is table properties inside the properties we will use different different things hello samaira firdosi hello samaira firdosi are you listening me are you listening me okay so in table properties we will use border why we are using border anyone know about border okay so we are using border properties listen carefully so border what is the use of border border helps in the specifying the border of a type which include braid border styles and border color means border properties border properties we are using for creating the creating the border braid border styles and color of the border any problem so look here in given in your books in a style forms there first is, uh, is html head titles given given look here here given html it is the head part and it is the title part so inside the title here written uh, not inside the title after the title here written a style why we are using a style types we are creating a styles of the table okay so inside the table we will use th table head td and data sales okay border here givens size givens colors given and which types of color solid red okay and th color is green and td color is blue so all these things here present okay yes table border here red and heading is here in green and other text is in blue colors any problem here okay 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 dear students next next topic is horizontal or vertical alignment what is the use of horizontal and vertical alignment all of you know about horizontal and vertical what is the use of horizontal if you want to write any text eh? in horizontal way or vertical way then we will use horizontal and vertical alignment okay okay dear students so uh, come in syntax here given text align value text align value so here value is left right and center okay means if you want to write any text 
if you want to write any text in left side right side or center parts then we will use text align why we are using text align text align is used for writing the text in left side right side and center part okay okay next is hover what is the use of this so this property is used for highlight the table cell if you want to highlight any cells any rows any columns then we will use hover okay h over okay here syntax given yes here syntax given tr tr for hover row and hover given here backgrounds and color and put the color code okay then your hover uh, uh, row will be highlight any problem here tr tag already already explain about all these things yes or not means you are late tr for table rows okay td means data cell any problem th means table header okay Okay, dear students. Okay. Next is table layout. What is the properties of this? So this property is used to set the layout for a table. So inside the table, inside the tables, if you want to set the layout, then we will use. table layout and value here given initial fixed or auto so auto means automatically they will comes fixed already fixed mm. and initial set the property to its default value then we will use initial property okay so look here one examples given here head title here given using tables inside the title after the title here a style given so in a styles table th td table header and data cells border border color border and size border and next is color of the border already given solid black okay okay and th for table heading so here table heading is green so in next page in next page in output their table heading is in green okay and td means data cell here given in blue so there are uh, all text written in blue form any problem okay to so, hum piche se bhi puch lete hain puch le what is the use of list hello what is the use of list okay okay dear student 
and next class i will ask some questions from your chapter 1 and chapter 8 okay next class i will ask some questions from chapter 1 and chapter 8 okay so everyone will ready okay i will ask one by one okay all of you ready ha ah, boliye fir se boliye awaaz nahi aaya yeah next class next class already know na when my next class tomorrow is saturday tomorrow is saturday na so saturday is no class means next week i will ask okay next week wednesday i will ask clear any problem there some topic is remaining in chapter 8 so next class i will explain first i will ask and then i will explain then it chapter will complete okay okay thank you